Uh, no, I, I, I used to have a fashion business a long time ago when I was in Pakistan. I used to live there, I used to make clothes and then I also did a, a special collection for a, um, a, a, a wonderful designer called, as well it was a woman called Vanessa Seward who ran Azaro at that time. Wow, yeah. and then you thought movies are more interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and we're here to celebrate women in cinema. How important is it to, to support women through events like this, you think? I mean, honestly, that's one of my big motivations for wanting to bring our film to open the festival, was that so recently people couldn't go to the cinema here, let alone celebrate women in cinema, and especially female Saudi filmmakers. So, um, yeah. Can I, can I ask yeah, you, is that all right, Bertina? Sorry, can I ask you, because I was really enjoying our conversation this morning about yeah. fairy tales as well, and yeah. the idea of the fairy tale yeah. that we see in the movie, and do you see your role as a writer in the industry almost as well as reversing some of the, the things that women have been told that they have to believe about life? You know, that film films have sold women a narrative about themselves quite often, but now women are behind the camera and have more power, that there is, there is an alternative I think it's all about new narratives, isn't it? It's about the female-driven nar nar narrative. It's about, you know, I mean, Shaker said very eloquently about, you know, seeing the West from the East, which is why one of the reasons the festival's important, um, because so many of our mainstream films have been the reverse. So I, I just think as many new narratives as possible is good. Yeah.